Alright guys, we're gonna be creating the animation you're seeing on your screen right now inside of PowerPoint. That's right, inside of PowerPoint. And I'm gonna show you just how to do that right now. So I have a new PowerPoint document open. And the first thing I'm gonna do is set up all of the text. And then I'm gonna add the animation. It'd be much simpler that way. But before I go ahead and do that, if you notice in the video, I had a background. It was a red gradient background. And I didn't produce, or I didn't use any preset inside of PowerPoint to get that background. Instead, I created a background inside of Photoshop. So to do that, I'm gonna right click on the background and go to Format Background. And I'm gonna come down from Fill to Picture and Texture Fill. Click File. And I'll find that in the project's file. Now I've supplied a link in the description to download the project files for this uh, tutorial. If you've downloaded the file, you can go ahead and add it. I'm gonna select it and click Insert. Click Close. And I've just added the background. So I'm just gonna start typing this video and that's all I'm gonna put in this one text box I'll double click to highlight now I'm gonna change the font to Meridian Pro light semi extended and I'm gonna change the color to white like that now I can go ahead and click here and start typing in you text box but instead of doing that I'm just gonna click on this hold down the control key and you see a little plus sign appears next to the cursor I'm gonna click and drag across to copy this text now the reason why I'm gonna do that is so I can maintain the font size and the color of the font it just creates less work for me I'm gonna double click in the text box again and start typing it's awesome I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna change it from Meridian Pro Light semi extended to Meridian Pro Light. Now for the align, I'm gonna align is awesome to the left side. And I'm gonna select this video and align this to the right. I'm gonna select both of them by holding the shift key and moving them a little more into place somewhere around here would do and I can use the arrow key on the keyboard to position it properly that's alright I'm gonna click on this and delete it hit delete I'm gonna hold a control key and drag another copy of is awesome to the bottom and here I'm gonna write so watch it I'm gonna highlight the text and change the size from 44 to 28 I change Meridian Pro Light to just Meridian Pro. Also, I'll change the color of the font. So I'll come to the font color, come down to more colors, come over to custom, and I'm gonna put it to red. But I'm gonna drag it down to get a deep red, somewhere around. And the red says 50. I'll leave that there and click OK. I highlight this and put a text in the middle, and then. Just tighten up this box and put it right here in the center. I can use the arrow key to move it up more into place. And the last thing I'm going to add is now. So I'm going to click on a text box, click in somewhere in the middle, and type in now. I'm going to highlight it, and for the size, I'm going to put it at 128. That's really big. I'm going to change the font to Meridian and change the color to the red so I can move this into place and the reason why I put so watch it now in red is so that you can group those two together this video is awesome that line is in white so you read that line together so watch it now you read as another line even though it's not written as two sentences so I'm going to tighten up this text box and then I can use the arrow key to move it up somewhere around here square it 
And now we get to the good part, where we put in the animation. So I'm going to come to the top here and click on the animations ribbon. And I'm going to click on this video. And I'll choose flying. In effects option, I'm just going to select from left. Also, I can click on this animation pane. And I can click on the play button to see all the animation in this slide. The next thing I'm going to do is click on is awesome and click fly in but this time I'm going to choose from right so if I click play I can see both of this animation as it happens but they're happening at the same time so for this animation I'm just going to select that and I'm going to come up to start and click after previous and I'm going to do the same thing for the second one it's awesome click start after previous so if I click play this is what's going to happen they're going to play one after the other and that's exactly what I want I'm going to click on so watch it notice I have a problem when I'm trying to click on so watch it the text is so big from now I'm not getting a chance to click on so watch it so what I'm going to do is right click on a box and go to send to back and send to back and select that and now if I click over so watch it I'm able to select that text I'm gonna come to the animations ribbon and click feed I'll select so watch it and come up to start and click after previous so if I play this this is what we have so far Ah, you're seeing how it's coming together and if you notice over here in the animation pane we have a timeline of what comes after what uh, what comes in order this first line comes first then the second line then this third line and for now I'm just gonna select that and click on this drop down and I'm gonna choose bounce but for this one once I have it selected, I'm going to come up and start and click start with previous. So watch it now and now starts at the same time and this is what it looks like. And that's it. That's how you create this little piece of animation inside of PowerPoint. In addition to the background, I've also provided the PowerPoint document in a projects file for you to edit and use in your own designs.